So we are here at the customer location, uh, at the ONT location, inside the home. In this configuration, the ONT is inside. So we see all the equipment here, uh, battery pack, ONT, and modem uh, have been installed. So uh, prior to testing the power, uh, we should make sure that the connectors are OK. So we're going to do, uh, going to run a quick inspection on all the connectors. So looks quite clean. So we still have a little bit of dust here. So I'm just going to run a quick cleaning. So now it's clean. So we do this on all the connectors, uh, cleaning everything. And then we're ready to actually connect the unit and do the testing. So uh, first thing is to make sure we connect the unit correctly. There's two ports on this unit, one labeled OLT slash video and one labeled ONT. Um, so this is the ONT box. So we're going to connect the ONT on the ONT port. And the drop cable here coming from the drop terminal is going to be connected on the OLT slash video port on the unit like this. And we have to make sure we use the right threshold here. So we push the threshold key. Make sure you have the ONT slash G, ONT G pan selected. That's what we have on screen now. ONT G is uh, scrolling on the screen. We're going to hit select here to select that threshold set. And we see here a pass on the, on the 13, 10 nanometer ONT wavelength. On the 14, 90 nanometer going down, coming down from the CO. 1550 is red, is a fail. That's normal for this system. We do not have an RF video overlay. So that's a normal behavior. But all the rest uh, is okay, is a pass according to the uh, GPON standard. So now we're actually ready to uh, connect the UNT on the drop terminal, on the drop port. So I'm going to disconnect this jumper here. Uh, quick note on that jumper. This is a, like a golden jumper that I'm using to do the test. It's a jumper I know uh, will exhibit uh, good insertion loss and has good connectors on it. That's a, connect that's a jumper I use for my test. I'm just going to remove that and actually connect the drop cable directly into the UNT port here, like this. And our job is done here, so the uh, service activation is completed.